the fuck, the holy hell that that man climbing inside of a truck get his CDL license. What's happening, YouTube? What's shaking with you? That's right, lockout man in the building right here. I am chilling. I am up here at the terminal. New arm. Um, look like everybody closed too. Look like ain't nobody in the terminal except for a nighttime dispatcher. That's a good thing. I am here picking up my load that's leaving from New Arm and it's heading down to Illinois. Yeah, I, I, I know, I, I know it's, it's heading to Illinois, but it should be a little bit different this week because we should have new drivers in place so that the situation won't happen. You know what I'm saying? Let me get into it, man. Let me get into this right quick, you know. So I'm bouncing around on... Uh, on Facebook and all like that. And I wanna show you guys something, what I came across. And I'm thinking in my head, first let me show you. Somebody explain to me, and I hope somebody explains to me. Somebody please explain to me. In the comments below, all right? Explain to me how in the, how in the fuck, the holy hell that that man climbing inside of a truck get his CDL license. How, Sway? Or better yet, how in the hell he get his medical certificate. How, Sway? I don't understand. I don't understand that, YouTube. Guys, I need you guys to, to help your boy out. Help your boy understand the process of getting your medical certificate for your CDL. Explain that. Is that, uh, is that what is called uh, a handicap situation? Is that like an exemption or something? Here now, come here. Come a little, come a little close. A little, a little close. Maybe I need to go and sit down. Maybe I need somewhere that I need to read in the DOT bylaws or the DOT exemption of a person of that stature. Big guy, all right? Now, I'm not fat shaming, I'm not doing none of that. I just want to know from you guys, so you guys can help me understand how in the hell he gets his medical certificate. In November, I took my DLT physical, right? I made a video about it. I, I didn't get it because I, my blood glucose level was like high, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I went to see my doctor. Come to find out your boy got diabetes, type two. But I'm got it under control. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. I'm I'm not a big guy. 
I'm not a big guy. I'm uh, I'm 250, since one. You know what I'm saying? 250, 250-ish. But I, I go to I go to the gym. You know, I get my workout on. You know what I'm saying? Because I am trying my damnedest not to be that guy. You see what I'm saying? That I would literally need a ladder to get me up and down out of my truck. My next DOT physical is in November, which is three months from now. It's November 2nd. I will go there, take it, get my certificate, and continue on with this glorious career in trucking. But this guy, this, this guy, this, this, I don't know, this big guy walking to his trailer or his truck, grab the ladder and climb inside of his truck. Now, there is some companies that wouldn't even bring you on if you can't do certain physicalities for the for getting on with that company one of which is the duck walk up under the trailer you gotta like scoop 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 all the way down and scoop 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 up under the trailer and you get inside of the trailer because you gotta get inside of the trailer to do the trailer stuff like sweep out this guy how did he manage to get in? I mean, how did he manage to get a trucking job? Well, I can tell you my opinion of it. It's only my opinion, that's all. It's nothing else, nothing more, just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? We all got one. We all are an opinionated state. My opinion is simple. I don't know how the hell he got it. I just don't know. I. I got some thoughts, like, he probably paid off the doctor, he, I don't know, the ladder thing, the ladder, maybe it's his own truck, you know what I'm saying, because if it's, if it's his own truck, and he's, you know, got his own authority, he might not have to do the trucking company standards of coming on with a company he could have probably just leased on to whatever company he's leased on to or like i said before he got his own authority and he could just broker his own loads i don't know but still though you have to get your medical certificate right i don't understand how some of these bigger guys are driving i i that video right there took the cake took the cake I'm serious so look at here YouTube help your boy out leave me uh, some comments about what you guys think of the of the video and 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 help me out help me understand how a person of that stature can get their medical certificate I, I just need some help with that that's all you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not to come on here to bash anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a big guy. That's a big stature. I'm just trying to understand because I see a lot of these guys out here driving these trucks. And I'm just trying to understand how are y'all getting your medical certificate. And I couldn't get mine. But I did get mine. I worked at it. I'm working to keep the weight off as you guys can see. Planet Fitness, baby. Committed to fitness. Every time, every chance you get, go in there, go in there, go in there, get it done. Hashtag, not trying to be that truck driver. You see what I'm saying? Make a hashtag of it. I'm saying, I'm not trying to be that way. You know what I'm saying? Video ain't about bashing big guys. I just want to understand how are they getting their medical certificate? That's all. That's all I want to know. I mean, you're driving, you're making your money, you're blowing these miles out. 
you do the damn thing, big guy. Do the damn thing. But I just want to know how is it possible for you to do that and it's impossible for other people. Something to think about, right? And also, for you guys that's coming on, there's something to think about too. Y'all come on, right? When y'all come on, y'all, some of these companies want you to do a physical. Not a DOT physical, they want you to do a company physical. They want you to get in and out of the trailer. They want you to walk up under the trailer. So definitely do your research and find a company that you can get with, that you like, that you, that if you can't do certain things like duck walk up under a trailer, don't mess around with those companies or fuck with them companies that does those type of requirements. You know what I'm saying? When I got here, it was it was not that we I came, did the driving test, paperwork, got in my truck, gone, bye, bounced out. And that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to bounce out of here. I'm here at the new um, terminal up here in Minnesota. About to head down to Craft in Illinois. Hopefully it won't be like last week. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it as always that you guys chill out with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. I don't really need to tell y'all what to do because y'all already know what to do. But if you do, if you like the video, you know what to do. And if you want to subscribe, you know what to do. But I'll tell you what I want you to do. All right, this is what I want you to do. All right, check it out, check it out. I'm thirsty, see what I'm saying? I am always thirsty, believe it or not. But you guys can help me out and get me some coffee or maybe tea, you know what I'm saying? I would prefer tea over coffee. But if you want to give me some coffee, that's cool. The link is in the description and in the comments below. So hook your boy up with a $3 cup of coffee, all right? That's it. That's all. I'm done. Thank you. I'm gone. Peace.